Hank is Dead by Red Fang. The song is in drop C, so the tuning is C, G, C, F, A, and D. So the first riff goes like this. So we're going to play the bottom two strings open. Then with a little finger, we're going to hit the fifth fret of the A and the bottom E string at the same time and then we're going to slide up to the 8th fret and we're going to let that note ring out while we slide up and then we're going to mute that note and just play that 8th fret on the A string so then we're going to come down and play bar chord on the bottom two strings on the 5th fret then we're going to play so on the third fret of the A string, we're going to hammer onto the fifth. So, then we're going to play the third fret of the bottom two strings, and then we're going to hammer twice. So, I'll do it one more time really slowly for you. Then we have this riff. So again, starts with bottom strings open, bottom two. Then we're going to come to the third fret of the D string. Play that note twice. Second fret of the G. Back to third of the D. Open G. Third of the D. Open D. Third of the A. So that's... Fifth fret of the bottom two strings. That hammer again, three to five on the A. Third fret, bottom two strings. And then the double hammer. Then we have this riff. So we've got open bottom string, 5 on the A, the D string is muted just by this fleshy part of this finger, and then 7 on the G string. So then we're going to play a hammer on from 3 to 5 on the bottom E string as a power chord on the bottom two strings, should I say. So play that twice. Then we're going to play bottom two power chord, three, five, four, three, and again. So that whole riff again. this riff.
power chord on the bottom two strings open. Third fret of the A to the fifth fret of the D. Then on the A, three, five, three, open, two, and then three on the bottom E string. So. Second half of the riff, open bottom power chord. Two of the D to the five of the A. Three, five, three on the A string. Open bottom two strings. And then power chord on the third fret. So, here we go slowly. So for the solo, we're going to start with this little pre-bend. So it's a it's a unison bend. So fret eight on the E, fret eleven on the B. And we're going to bend this note up to the eleventh. Sorry, up to the thirteenth. So we're going to bend that pre, and then we're going to let that off. Then we're going to bend. So one more time. Then we're going to bend a unison bend on ten. And 13 and then 13 and 16 so again that's 10 on the E 13 on the B and bend up so that it's the same note then do the same thing on the 13th fret and the 16th fret then we've got so on the E string fret 15 bend that upper tone 15, 13, 15, 13, 15 on the B, 13 on the E, 15 on the B, and then 14 on the G. So again. So that's the opening lick of the solo. Then we have this. So on the 12th fret of the G, so that's 12, 11, 10. On the B, 11 to 10. Back onto the G, 10, 11, 12. 12, 11, 10. Then 12, 10, and then 12 of the D. So slowly. Then we have this. So on the G string, 10 to 12, and again, and again. Then we're going to bend up to 14, and then back down to 10. Then play 10 to 12 again. Then on the D string, 12, 10, 12 on the A. Back up to the G string. 10 and then 12 on the D. So slowly. And then the solo finishes like this. So on the G, 10 to 12, and again, one more time, then we're going to slide up to 14, back to 10, so that part again, then we're going to play 10, 12, 10, 12 on the D, 
and then back to 10. So. Then we're going to play on the D, 10, 12, 10, 12 on the A, and then 10 on the G. And that's where it finishes. So that part again.